So what was your particular inspiration for this film? I was looking for a subject to write. And um, I, I started getting into um, the Bible documentary. It's a, actually a TV show called The Bible. And from there, I went into like Book of Revelation. And it was interesting that um, they compare some signs that what happened to the world and what's going to happen to the world if humankind not going to change. And the subject was very interesting. And I started like, um, you know, thinking about that and thinking about that. And the inspiration of that um, revelations, it's um, to see what's going on, what's happening right now, and how people are losing the faith of God. Was it particularly difficult to find the actors who could pull off the characters that fit your vision of this film? You know, after they get the crew and the cameraman, the, 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 the old great, but the people who's going to deliver those lines are actors. In the end of the day, actors are going to make that film. And James was a super char hard character to find. I did like, uh, I think it was like six auditions, I'm sorry, six sessions of auditions. We, and James was working with me on another movie called Job's Daughter, and he played the deputy. And even when I cast for Job's Daughter, I didn't want him. And, you know, we watched his tape over and over, and something sparked in this guy, and we finished with Job's Daughter, and I couldn't find an actor. And I remember Ryan did such a great job, and I say, you know, why don't we test Ryan? Why don't we audition Ryan? Look at me when I'm talking to you. I support this house with these two hands. So when I ask you where you've been, you're gonna answer me. Great surprise with uh, the talent I got in this movie. In some films, uh, violence is not depicted realistically. Do you feel in this film it is depicted realistically and given realistic solutions to those problems? Yeah, sure. I mean, I made it as a film that I choose, I choose a very harsh moment, which they're real, and I did some um, research about those situations. And in order to show people a difference between like good or bad or violence or non-violence, you have to show them on the screen. Some people watch it and like, wow, that's very harsh. But um, when you see James' progress to change, I think that will affect some people because some people live this experience of abuse and use and how they find solution to their problems. So in order to show this kind of a message, I had to change the character and define this character, make them stronger. So when the solution in the end will come, it will be like, like something like totally different.